first day that I saw her um, was at my office. I was just sitting in, in my office. She just kind of came in, strolled in, all jolly and chipper. And I had an interview with you. You had an interview with me. and So I was like so nervous to go into this job interview, and I never get nervous. Um, and so I was so excited, and I walk in, in the I mean, the instant, I've never had this. When I walked into his door and I met him, I go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna marry this man. I just knew it right off the bat. And I just got to know him for like, you know, six or seven months. Like, we were really, really good friends and I was relentless with him. I just, I knew what I wanted. I wasn't gonna stop until I got it. <laughs> Is that bad to say? <laughs> When I realized that Brittany was the one, I mean the one, you know, I um, I hadn't really ever, I hadn't dated anybody in really like eight years in a long time and I was terrified of commitment. I was just, you know, scared. Here's this girl that's interested in me and I'm like, what in the world, step back. I actually pushed her away and said, you know, Britt, I know you like me and all this stuff, you know, and I was just like, but I'm not interested in dating and all that. And then I, I, took, um, I took a trip down to Florida that weekend um, just the day after that, I actually had that talk with her, and I couldn't even um, I couldn't even enjoy my vacation because like the Holy Spirit inside of me was just making me realize that there was a part of me that that was missing. There was something missing in my life, and it was like revelation. Like I realized, like oh my gosh, you, the girl in my dreams was in front of me my you know the last year, and I haven't and I didn't see it. And I was just in that moment when I came back. Um, from from Florida, I sat down with her and I said, "Brett, I said, you know, something really powerful happened to me on the trip, and um, I'd I'd like you to be my girlfriend and all that." And and she was like dumbfounded. She was like shocked. I'm like, like here I am. This kid just like told me he didn't want anything to do with me. He wanted to keep it like strictly business, you know. And now he comes back from this vacation, and then I go to dinner with him, you know, like a girl would. I was just like, oh, "I'll go," and. Uh, when he said, you know, just be patient with me, you know, I, I just be slow and let's take this slow and I want to start dating you. I was like, okay, I think the Lord just returned because who is this man? And um, I was just never more happy in my life. I was calling everybody in my phone and I was screaming like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a boyfriend. can't wait just to be that God-fearing wife, you know, and just really going and just spending hours with the Lord, just praying for my husband and praying for my family. And I've always had such a good example um, with my parents and always seeing, you know, my dad, who's just such an amazing man and never thinking that another man could even come close to my dad, you know, and it's cool to see someone who they tell you you marry someone like your father, you know, and it's funny because I am and he just searches his heart for the Lord and he just really seeks after God's presence in his life and I just can't wait to just be praying for him and just be next to him and making decisions together and um, I can't wait to learn how to cook and um, just make sure my husband just enjoys being married and enjoys life with me. And I'm so excited to be able to be the head of the household and to be able to be that God-fearing man that you know puts God first in our relationship and every decision that we make and everything that we do together and for her to be able to expect me to lead um, is, is, is very weighty but man I'm just so excited about it because I know my God and I know His voice and I, and I can't wait just to see the different seasons of our life unfold and, and just to be able to know that God's hand was in every single bit of it and to be able to confidently trust Him. And I've always just, the, the scripture that just rings in my heart, you know, is, is as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord and God will be honored in our relationship. And, um, and I just cannot wait to lead from the front like that.